Chainsaw Man Episode 8. What an episode of animation that was. Definitely probably the best episode of animation I've seen this year. It's it's like the quality is up there with that, you know, One Piece episode where uh, Luffy confronts Kaido. Definitely brilliant. So <clears throat> I thought I'd do versus Katana Man and Aki, right? So I'm going to go diagonal with my division. Okay, and I want to put Aki down here and Katana Man up here somewhere, right? So... So you want to roughly divide your page up. So we'll go. And I'm just going to like, and it's going to be like a jagged sort of thing, right? So I'm just going to, I'll draw it roughly. Because I want to fit in as much as I can. Because I want to go around sort of Aki's head up here. So you can draw everything and divide it up yourself later on if you want. So I'm going to put Aki here, Katana Man down here. So we'll go down and draw Aki's sort of face first, right? So we're on a sort of a diagonal for his eyes down here. He's making this kind of crazy expression like he's shouting, okay? So top eyelid curves up, down. And then we have some extra lines kind of coming off for his eyelashes and stuff. Bottom eyelid goes underneath his hair, but we'll draw it in what we can see of it. Like that. And then his iris. Circle coming down from the top eyelid there. His pupil in the middle. Like so, and I think sometimes they add sort of extra sort of lines like that in the eye. Right, so his eyebrows, so he's frowning real heavily, right? So we got this tick. Comes up like that across his eye. Right, like so. And then we just thicken up this area. has an eyelid line just coming over the eye here and some stretch marks and stuff coming around his nose and things down here right so other eye over this way you're about Maybe it's not quite eye distance, but it's about half his eye or the tear duct to his iris. That sort of distance over sort of fit in between both of his eyes. And then this one looks, looks like he's got a punch in it. So it's kind of smaller. We might be in a little bit of three quarter pose. So we just go across like so. Right, and then bottom eyelid line comes down, across, down there. So smaller eye now. It's about three quarters the size of this eye, okay? Because he is, it's, his head is slightly turned away, so we're in three quarter. And then iris line. In there and the pupil we put it coming down from his eyelid just here okay and then there is some eyelashes here it goes underneath his hair on that side so we won't draw them in and then there's like some stress lines 
along his nose and another sort of curling eyebrow line there and again you want it to be a little bit shorter than this one because because of the turn on his head because we're in three-quarter pose so things that turn away get smaller okay just a bit of perspective And then top eyelid line. Another sort of wrinkle on his nose, nose line there. And curling out. Okay, so nostrils. Just down here. And then his mouth, so he's open mouth shouting, right? So it curves around here, down the back. And you got some blood and stuff on his mouth as well. See so the side of it's more straight on this side, it comes down around. Up to there. teeth on top and his teeth on the bottom so we got like the molars the white of his teeth here comes around into the side of his mouth there and then bumping sort of down this way and in here is black and then his tongue line, and I think there is some of the tongue drawn in, so. Just there like that. And I'll just color this dark. Just in between the teeth and the tongue, just to show it's kind of shadowy. Right, and then his chin, square chin here. Right, and then proportion wise, eyebrow or like top eyelid, just this sort of space to the nostril is about the same as nostril to chin. So here to here, about the same as here to here. The top sort of eyelid line here and here, about the same as here and here. And like roughly, I'd say. Because his mouth is open, I'd say nostrils to the sort of center of the tongue is about the same as center of the tongue to the chin. That's kind of the proportion of the face. And we're in three quarter pose, so we've got a jaw on this side and a cheek on this side, right? So we go jaw first. Up. It's kind of in line horizontal diagonally with the nostril here, is where you change your direction and curve up towards his ear and stuff along here, his jawbone. And because we're in three quarter pose, you curve out towards his cheek, right? So you see it's slightly curving that way. Or you could do it straight. But we're different both sides. We're not symmetrical. And just on that line again, you're going to curve around his cheekbone. Up to his eye. So your cheekbone is under your eye, right? And this will go all the way on this side. And we have a sideburn just there for his hair. Sideburn on this side is about here. And his ear will come out from the sideburns. So one. You can see more of this ear than the other one because the other one's turned away. It's on the other side of his face. And it's underneath hair as well. But we'll just draw it in and we can erase anything we sort of don't need afterwards if it goes underneath his hair. Bones cartilage and stuff inside and he's got an earring on this ear both ears actually and then something else here earring ear ligament lines and stuff all right so before we do his hair we'll just there's lots of these scratches on his face like he's gotten you know, hit 
on his cheek. He's gotten punched and thrown about the place. So what a good fight this was. So well animated. Okay, and then his hair. So it's blowing in the wind, it's coming across his face, right? So let's just start on this side. So this one comes across his eye. Like that, right in the next one. Like so. Then we keep going. Remember, hair moves doesn't have to be exactly like mine. Another spike here. This one will cut off the ear a little bit. But, you know, if yours is higher up, it doesn't have to, you know, it doesn't have to cut off the ear. So, and then this will go up towards his head and his bun. So if you want to like, if you want to move your line to fit more of his hair, you can. I'll just leave it like that it's cut off, so. Maybe you might have some texture lines just here on the side. Okay, so then his suit and his tie and stuff. So he's kind of all hunched over, right, falling over. So his collar comes down from his ear here, diagonally, right there. And then the rest of his suit jacket kind of just flows off this way. And then the other side of his jacket there and his shoulder there. And then like his suit collar, I think, here. So then his tie. It goes down this way. Curl over, another line there, to the other side of the tie, and then it kind of bumps down and goes off the side this way. There's his collar there. Okay, so shoulder line kind of comes out from the ear, you know, goes down this way. And then a bit, his shoulder is like raised up. Going like this way. You meet like an arm line or something there and the shoulder will go off this way. Like that, and then another sort of fold line. There's lots of these sort of fold lines now, so make another one here. Mm -hmm. 
Right, there's like so blood stains and stuff on his mouth. Right, so like like here. Here, and there's like blood splatters in the air. So like stuff around. Because we're in motion, you know. Might be some like bricks and stuff like that just to fill up this space. Okay. But that's Aki. Right, so let's go over and do Katana Man now. So, we start with the sword, I guess, the one on his head. Yeah, so we got like a curved line that just comes across. So I'll put it, put it here. Right, and if you want, you can use a ruler. So, this is like the curve line for his hat. We'll, I'll finish the hat just so we get a better idea. Goes up this way. Just sort of bumps around that. It's got a couple of bumps on it here. Kind of looks like a cupcake or something. And then he's got that badge there and then a red band going across there and this has a golden band on it as well there just for the hat like so and then this has like patterns on it like a, it's like a flower or something I don't know it's gold medallion anyway circles kind of looks like a frog or a pig so far katana man looks like a frog and a cupcake And he's got these edge lines to them. Yeah, like that. So then, the katana itself. So we'll go, we'll go all the way down to here. Well, it's kind of foreshortened, so I look a little. So it's longer on this side. We'll do this side first. So we'll go to there. Okay, and you want to go. You don't want to go parallel. Sorry, you don't want to go that way. You want to make it wider at the top than the bottom, right? So you want to go, you want this end to be wider than this end because of, you know, perspective and stuff. So foreshortening and perspective, making things shorter and wider as they come towards us. Right? So we're going to go like that, right? And sort of, sort of go that way somewhere. And then there's kind of an edge line on it and you want that to get wider as it comes towards us as well it seems to like curve around here and of course lots of textures and stuff on this like scratches and maybe some like blood So this will all be red and stuff. Okay. So what we can see of the side of his head. So we go down for the back of his head here and it's kind of like wrinkly skin, right? So it goes into there. down and in like that right and he's got this sharp point that sticks out the side here and then it goes down to another point kind of like chainsaw man similar sort of thing right so it goes down that way another line there and then we can see his gum line and his teeth right so we can just see sort of bumping lines here for 
the teeth. And they kind of go up and they're kind of flat. And so three there. So that's that one. And then we got like all these wrinkles and stuff. Skin. side of his head so he's got like two different colors on his head okay and that goes into there okay so he's got like a big jacket on right so we go down this way and it's got like a big collar goes in down like so. Hmm. What way is that? So it comes out down this way, it seems. And then he's another part of a jacket. Goes like underneath his chin down to there. And then it like closes over, goes down that way. This has like some edge lines and fold lines and stuff. Some buttons. An edge line on the collar. Like so. So we can see one arm, one shoulder going off this way. This kind of flies off like this. Jacket going there. And there's like a tear in the jacket here. So just like zigzag lines around this. That. So that's that tear. And then we have some more jackets sort of going out for his arm this way, it looks like. So his arm going off here. Do -do -do. It's just going on that way. And then his other arm. So that'll go. Well, we can see some of his collar first. So here. And then the other bumps kind of go around like this. So like his shoulder here. Fold lines, jacket line going that way. Well, of course, I forgot his sort of neck muscle lines. So he's got all those tubes as well. That chainsaw man. And then it goes out to there, down. Line and then his shirt sort of sticks out here, and then of course we have another sword. Now we can fit in as much of that as we can now. So we'll go right from there, not to right there. So it's going back, so we'll curve it up that way, and then we have to put his hand coming out of here, right? So and you can see like his thumb. See, like just like four fingers, three fingers, sorry. Thumb first. Index. And then this one is like, is it like part of the sword? Yeah. 
في الحالة الحقيقية لما تحمل مزارك المستمعون انت ضايع And the top of the sword comes out from like behind this finger. <laughs> One off that way, and then the edge of the katana down here. Right, and of course there is like lots of blood and stuff in the air behind him as well. So that's pretty much it. You can add more blood, details, scratches, you know, stuff like that. But that is how to draw Katana Man versus Aki. What a good fight that was. Epic. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.